Hi, this is Melanie for the Pardesi channel. Today, June 18th, is my birthday, and I'm reviewing one of my favorite movies, OK, Kanmani, starring Dolker Salman and Nithya Menon. Okay, so I wasn't planning on reviewing this movie today, but something extraordinary happened this morning when I woke up. The very first thing that happened to me on my birthday morning as I woke up to, and I picked up my phone and I looked at the alerts and I had a tweet from Dolker Salman. <laughs> my husband had to practically peel me off the ceiling. A number of weeks ago, I was in a, an article about... Molly Wood and people on the internet that are not from India that love Molly Wood and love Molly LM cinema. And I have pinned that article to my Twitter and I tagged Dulker in it because I said how I expressed my love of Molly LM cinema and Dulker Salman. And today was the day that he decided to tweet to me, only love your way, Melanie, and <laughs> heart emojis. Like, like, that started my birthday off with a bang. And I said, okay, I, so I replied back to him that because I watched him in OK Kanamani and he was so charming that I had to seek out Molly Elam cinema and that I will always thank him forever for introducing me to Molly Elam cinema. That was the best present of the day. Although the, the second best present of the day is my husband got me a new microphone, which I am trying out for the first time right now. He is supporting me in my uh, endeavors here. I just felt compelled to watch OK Con Mini again today, even though I've seen the film many times. I it was inexpensive to buy it on Google Play here, and so I own a digital copy of it, and I, I could watch it anytime I want. But if you're looking for the film, just to let you know. It is available on Netflix in the U.S. streaming right now, but um, Malayalam version for some reason. And the original Tamil is on Amazon and I think Google Play for just a few dollars if you want to rent it. So I watched the entire movie again, which was... It's just as fresh. It's just as wonderful. It's just as charming no matter how many times I see it. This was the film that introduced me to Dulker Salman and to Nithya Menon, and I love both of them. They are so charming in this movie, so lovable. The, my path for actually seeing this film, I had seen other Mani Ratnam films, uh, Dilse in particular because of my love of Shah Rukh Khan. There was an Air Ramen concert, so this would have been in the early spring of 2015. He played a song at that concert, Mana 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 Minto Mana Dil, Laka 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 Pola Vaya Dil, Taka 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 Kutum Mizil, OK, and Kan Mani Mana Dil. So that's the only, I'm sure I murdered that, but that's the only Tamil song that I could sing because I had to learn the lyrics to it because I was obsessed with this song. I had to listen to it over and over and over again. The film. I never found it in the theaters in the U.S. It's probably released in Chicago, but I, at that point, I didn't know where to find it. I saw the film. Uh, finally, I think I got it online, and I was finally able to watch it. Obsessed. And if you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. Dolker Salman, this is my first time seeing him anything. He is so charming. I mean, I just want to pinch his cheeks. He's so cute. And this romance between the two characters, they both... They're meet cute, well, Monty Rutnam and trains, right? There's always trains in a Monty Rutnam film. But this film is unusual. It's not a tragic ending. No one dies. It's, it's unusual. And I think he had had a big flop previous to this film. And then Ravan and R Ravanan had come out before that. I saw the review that Bharadwaj Rangan did of... Okay, Khan Mini, and he basically says this was the greatest hits for Mani Rotten. I'm like, okay, this is what you want. Fine, I will give you what you want. You want the young ram romance, you want the great music. Okay, here we go. And but it's a different kind of a, a Tamil film. There are no dance numbers, there are montage music scenes. The score is, of course, by A.R. Rahman, and I still listen to it frequently. 
uh, because one of the main singers is a Carnatic singer, a classical singer. There's a lot. There's a mix in of some classical sounding kind of songs. Other parts of the are very electronic because Dolker Solomon's character Adi is a video gamer. Right away, the title song has all of these electronic tones, and it just sounds like a video game, sounds very modern and hip. I just love how real the romance is between Dolker's character, Adi, and Nithya Menon's character, Tara. They meet in a train station. He sees her arguing with a boyfriend, and she threatens to jump in front of a passing train in the station and he's yelling at her in Tamil because here they are in Mumbai and he can hear her Tamil speaking and he yells at her, well, what are you doing, idiot? <laughs> you know, and distracts her and she doesn't jump. Then they meet again at a wedding and it is one of the most meet cute moments I have seen in any film, the English language, Indian language, whatever. Them both sitting in the front row and having a conversation about how neither of them wants to get married and exchanging phone numbers by doing hand signals and whatever so they can talk during this Christian wedding. So funny, so adorable. And then they start this relationship and they cannot keep apart. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen of showing a couple so in love and so like can't keep their hands off each other, can't can't stop being together. Even though she's headed to Paris for a scholarship for architecture school and his goal is to be a video game designer and move to the U.S. So neither of them wants a long-term relationship but they're they go into a for now. One of the other wonderful things about this movie is that Prakash Raj plays Dolker Salman's landlord. He's not a relative, knows Dolker Salman's character's brother or something. And so he is allowed to live in a room in the house. And Prakash Raj plays a man who has a wife with Alzheimer's. Now, I didn't know it when I first saw the movie, but Leela Sampson, who plays the wife, Bhavani, she plays a classical musician. This was her debut role. I think she was a famous dancer or something. Anyway, she is amazing in the film. But the revelation is Prakash Raj. I think I had a recent... Oh, it was Bharata Ninenu. I said, you don't hire Prakash Raj to be in your film if he's just going to be the cuddly uncle. Well, this is the exception that proves the rule. Because normally, he is acting with a capital A. He is chewing the scenery. He is being his, you know, Prakash Raj, normal... Uh, there's some secret to him. He's got to be evil. Something's going on, right? Always, every film. Not this one. This is a quiet performance. This is a subtle performance. This is a performance of a man totally devoted to his wife and caring for her in every way. And it is absolutely amazing. He starts out very curmudgeonly. And obviously, he just, he's shown to have a marshmallow center. So he their story of of the wife with Alzheimer's and all that they go through is the uh, anchor for the young people's love story because they they have only seen bad examples, especially Nethia Minion's character, Tara, has her parents have gone through a divorce and it sounds like her father committed suicide. And so she only knows the bad. She doesn't want that. And here is an example of love that lasts decades that is selfless love that just, you know, the perfect example of a caring uh, relationship that has lasted the test of time. And I just absolutely love seeing Prakash Raj in this role. Just is my favorite role of his. I just love it to pieces. So back to the love story. The con central conflict is neither one of them wants to give up the career. And what I love is the resolution of the story Neither one does, and yet there's still a happy ending. In fact, we get a cartoon montage showing us almost like an epilogue, showing us their married life through children and whatever. So it's just absolutely one of my favorite romantic films of all time, <laughs> one that you have to see. 
I mean, it's Mani Ratnam. It has so much imagery about trains, about misconnections, about trains going opposite ways, which could symbolize the way that their goals and the way that their friendship is going in two different directions. But when they get on that train together, oh, that's when the magic happens. That is where the magic is. It, just the chemistry between these two actors is absolutely incredible. And how do we know that this was the key to the entire film? We know because they remade the film with, in Hindi, <laughs> called, they called it OK Janu, had almost exactly the same music because A.R. Raman was involved again. They only switched one song. The Hama song, that was like a welcome addition. But anyway, they, you know, they had all the same elements all the same story. They had the same woman playing the Alzheimer, you know, landlord, landlady. Everything was the same, except the lead two actors wasn't the same. Aditya Roy Kapoor, I love him, but he was he's no Dolker Salmon. I mean, that's the bottom line. The two lead actors completely sold this simple story and made it something extraordinary and special and a joy to watch through every single moment. And even though I've seen this movie multiple times, when it gets to certain scenes in the second half, when the drama does come to a head, I was crying again. I mean, I've seen this movie so many times. I know that it has a happy ending, and yet I still was tearing up. And uh, it's just so great. It's just so great. And I love that it shows female empowerment that Tara Nithya Menon's character does not have to give up her dreams, does not have to give up her uh, career. And she confronts relatives who are giving her a hard time about having a living relationship, you know, basically turning it around. Why are you, you know, people are almost trying to like browbeat her and blackmailing her into marriage. And she's like, no, I'm not ready. I'm not giving up my dream. So, and I, I just absolutely love that. But mostly you're watching this couple fall in love and you're just reveling in the joy of it. This film came out in, I believe it was April of 2015. For Dolker, he was coming off of the 2014, the year previous, the spring previous, he had been in Bangalore Days. And so had Nithya Menon. Nithya Menon had also been in Bangalore Days. She wasn't one of the three main characters, but she was an important supporting character. So Dolker Salman had already made waves outside of Kerala cinema for Bangalore Days. And then I think OK Khan Mini, which had a wider release, more people went to see it because of the Mani Ratnam name and so forth. It had a pretty big business in the U.S. as well. Like I said, I didn't see it on the big screen, but it just cemented him. And I think that this was the... Dolker Salman being in this movie was the gateway for a lot of people getting into Malayalam cinema because they were like, well, what else has Dolker Salman done? That was my journey. That was, I've heard from several other people, that was their journey. Who is this guy? I, and I didn't know that he was Mamuti's son. I didn't know that he was a star kid. I didn't know anything about him, but I wanted to see more of his work. And that led me to seeing Ustad Hotel and Bangalore Days and on and on and on. And then he started making, getting away from just romantic films to doing films like Kali, which is part, you know, him being an angry young man and part a, a taut thriller and then Kamati Padam, like this expansive political epic. He has really broadened his range and only gone from strength to strength. But what I love about him is he's still so kind to his fans. <laughs> so sweet to send me a tweet. He didn't even know it was my birthday. But I'm just saying, I have seen him do wonderful things for other fans and he still seems pretty down to earth. Maybe I'm totally wrong, but that's the way it seems to me. And I love that. This is a movie that for me is one of my all time favorites. It's a must see. As I said, it's available online in very several places for either a nominal fee or if you have a Netflix subscription, you can watch the Molly Allen version. It's interesting. My neighbor... Uh, my neighbor who speaks Tamil, the husband speaks Tamil and the wife 
uh, did not grow up speaking Tamil, but she understands it. She said when she watched the movie without subtitles, she thought Dulker's accent was so thick that she had a hard time understanding him. I mean, that's not something that came through in my to my ears. I didn't know that. I just saw the charm that came through and the talent and the just the magic that happened on screen between Dulker and Nithya in this this film. It just an incredible film. The cinematography is also great. It's really an interesting look at Mumbai. It's about, you know, Tamil speakers in Mumbai who band together. And I just loved all this different sites and the way the film was edited and cut together just feels really fresh and modern. If you like this film review of OK Kanmani, please press that like button, share the video, follow us on Twitter at PradesyYT. Subscribe to the Pradesi channel. I'm almost to 7,500 subscribers. I would love to get over that hump. I'm really close. <laughs> so uh, hit the bell if you would like to get notifications of any new film reviews or trailer reactions.